Hi guys, uh, Derek Jensen has, uh, after I put our final video of Coronavirus Chronicles out, Derek called me back and asked if I would be so kind as to let him put a PS onto his last video, and when Derek asked if I, if he can put a PS on, of course I had to say yes. So, Derek Jensen, what would you like to add about coronavirus being the trigger for the collapse of global industrial civilization? Well, one of the questions you asked me was how, uh, what non-humans would, would how, the, how nature would be responding to this. Yes. Take you know, I away. wasn't really expecting that question. So this is, happens in interviews that you just don't get the best answer. And I thought of it, of course, like 10 minutes after we hung up. That always and, happens. Yeah, it always happens. So the uh, for years I've talked about uh, the dominant culture being, you know, what would we do if if space aliens had come down from outer space and they were doing to the planet what the dominant culture is doing to the planet? Yeah. We would resist. You know, space aliens came down changing the climate and they were uh, causing the greatest mass extinction in the history of the planet. We would we would respond strongly. And so the question really is, you know, from the perspective of a from the perspective of any of these, you know, how would we feel if space aliens had come down from outer space and they were destroying the planet like this? And then those space aliens started getting a pandemic that played havoc with their economic system. I think that we would be celebrating. You said and that wreaked havoc with their economic system. You kind of faded out. Yeah. So. Uh. <laughs> yeah. But so if, if I think that the I think that non-humans um, are probably feeling about this the same way that we would be feeling if if the Martians in War of the Worlds came down and they got a plague. Uh, I, I, I think you're exactly right. Uh, can, can I put up a point that I, that I put on a, a later video uh, elsewhere in the Doomosphere since I didn't, I, I didn't want to, uh, to harsh your mellow, Derek, but if, you've, if, if you could answer one, one more question... Uh, uh, about this, because uh, I mean, I'm, I'm curious. I, I don't know if you're familiar with this fellow named Bill Gady, G A E D E. No. Okay. So anyway, he he is a wild man. You should uh, look him up. He's some sort of physicist. But anyway, uh, his contention when I interviewed him is that anybody kidding themselves that the collapse of global industrial civilization is going to be good for our fellow earthlings, his point, and I don't think he's joking uh, here, Derek, this man's point is when you follow this through to its natural conclusion that how he predicts the sixth mass extinction is going to unfold is... Uh, it's not going to be uh, from climate change and from uh, habitat destruction and all the usual subjects that we usually posit down here in this rabbit hole. He says what it's going to be is a direct result of the collapse of the global industrial economy. And when people cannot find food to eat, who do you think is going to be on the menu? He says that the bushmeat trade is literally going to go into such overdrive as things fall apart and people start starving. Obviously, who we're going to eat is our fellow earthlings. And according to his math is we are going to eat every single one of our fellow earthlings until there's nothing left to eat and we eat each other and starve to death. Uh, that's a pretty brutal view he has, but uh, what do you say to that, uh, to that logic that the worst thing that could happen to this planet is to have global industrial civilization fall apart, you know, with this population in place suddenly starving to death? Oh, he's so full of shit. There you <laughs> go. I like that answer. Why is he full of shit? Um, because without the global industrial economy, you don't get to the middle of the ocean. There you and, go. Uh, good point. One for Derek. Okay. 
And you don't get to... Somebody wrote me 15 years ago saying that there were... <clears throat> there used to be a lot of grizzly bears where she lived, but the grizzly bears were gone because... Uh, because the Chinese market for gallbladder batters, gall bear, gall, bear gallbladders, <laughs> yeah. had reached Canada such that hunters were shooting them, sending the gallbladders to, uh, to um, China. And without a global industrial system, you don't have that. And what will happen as the system collapses is that right now about, what, 40% of the people in the world – don't have access to electricity they're already living subsistence lives yeah and uh, that's 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 one of the most ridiculous things i've ever heard <laughs> okay i'm i'm glad you had a very quick response to it i don't know if bill gates dead or alive i would like to hear what he would say back but uh anyway i'm 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 glad you uh you you have another viewpoint that uh well, I, I, of course, my contention to him was that uh, w within weeks of global industrial civilization collapsing in the global economy, that uh, anywhere from, I don't know, 70 to 95 percent of the population will already be dead. Uh, and, and you know what I'm saying, because of the the, the food is going to be off the store shelves, as we're seeing a tiny glimpse of with what's happening now. And they're never, and the humans are never going to have time to regroup to throw everything in the stew pot. So anyway, we're 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 all going to see how that plays out. Yeah, we'll either we'll we'll see it or we won't. Yep. Here's here's the other thing I want to say about that, which is that. Um, Right now, this culture is causing the greatest mass extinction in the history of the planet. And if we keep going where we're going, we will get where we're going. <laughs> and so yeah. other other alternatives are not going to be as this one. Other alternatives are not what? Are not going to be as bad as this one. It, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Any alternative to this one uh, is... Uh, pangolins are being taken from Africa... No. And without the pangolins in or without the Chinese demand, that'll drop. You, nothing exceeds global global demand in a global economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. All right. So we're hoping for a a silver a silver lining. Uh, anyway, anything else you would like to add? This is uh, no. That I really wanted to say the thing about the about the space alien. Okay, we do appreciate your comments on space aliens and anything else you want to talk about. And whenever you want to uh, call us here, uh, do not do not do not hesitate, brother. That sounds great. Thank you so much. All right, talk to you down the line. Keep up the good fight as always. Hey, you too. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.